securing your network often requires deploying multiple hardware, cloud services, and licenses, which requires a robust system to manage and track all the assets. Forty Cloud Asset Management lets you register and manage assets. Instead of opening email, looking for registration codes in the attached PDF, and manually registering assets, Asset Management now provides an automated way to view assets in your order, register in bulk, or even schedule asset registrations. When you place orders, provide your account ID and account email to associate your orders with the account information. Once the order with the associated account is processed, your assets are linked to your account and visible in the Asset Management web portal as pending registrations, ready to be registered or scheduled. Let's look at the Asset Management Portal. On the Asset Management Portal, the Pending Registrations menu is displayed when orders are linked to your account. Under Pending Registrations, you can use the Hardware Contracts and License menus to view the assets in all orders linked to the account. You can use the Schedule Registrations menus to perform bulk asset registrations or to schedule the asset registrations on a specified date. Let's look at the Hardware section. The Hardware page contains a list of hardware serial numbers organized by order number. For each order number, we can see the total number of devices ordered and the number of devices pending registration, along with the serial number, model information, warranty start date, and the registration status. The Incomplete Registrations Only toggle displays only unregistered devices. The search bar on the top allows you to search the list with serial number, order numbers, or model numbers. You can export the list to Excel or CSV format. Next, the Contracts page is similar to the Hardware page. It lists the order numbers, and for each order number, we can view the list with contract number, SKU, and contract forfeit date. Search and export options are available too. The Licenses page provides the list of order numbers with license number and SKU, and it displays the activation code for each order. You can register licenses by using this activation code. The Schedule Registration page lists all the previously registered devices, as well as devices scheduled for registration on a specific date, along with the status of the bulk registration. For registering in bulk or by schedule, click the Bulk Registration button to start the Bulk Registration Wizard. Select whether the users of the device are government or non-government users and choose a partner. The next step is to add the devices. Two options are available to register in bulk. The first option is to manage your list of devices by using a CSV file and uploading it to FortiCloud. And the second method is to register by using a list of serial numbers in the Asset Management area. To manage your device registration with a spreadsheet, download the reference template for the desired file format and fill in the information. Here we see the template includes instructions on mandatory and optional fields, their descriptions, and an example data for reference with serial numbers, descriptions, contracts, and asset folder hierarchy. Only serial numbers are mandatory. The rest of the fields are optional. To fill in the template for this tutorial, we will go to the hardware page, filter the list by a specific model, export the list to CSV, and then take a list of unregistered serial numbers. The status field set to Pending indicates unregistered serial numbers. After adding these serial numbers to the template, we can add an optional description. For contracts, we can go to the Contracts page, filter the list with contracts for the hardware, and export the list to CSV. From the CSV, we can pick a few contracts that can be applied to the hardware. Asset folders are the folders created under My Assets and are used to organize your devices into a folder hierarchy. If not specified, the devices will be automatically registered under My Assets and can be moved or organized later. For this tutorial, we can fill the asset folders with the existing hierarchy. Once the file is uploaded, you can view the list and data and then click Confirm to proceed to preview the data, accept terms, and register the devices now or later by using the Schedule option. When the registration is complete, a success message is displayed and the process is complete.
Alternatively, you can register serial numbers directly in Asset Management by entering the serial number list. You can obtain the serial numbers from a list exported from the hardware page with status pending. Then fill in the optional fields such as description and pick applicable contracts and asset folders. For selected devices and contracts, we can register now or schedule the registrations for a later date. Scheduling is available for both registration methods. For scheduling, select the scheduling icon, give it a name, and pick the registration date. When scheduled, the Scheduled Registrations list displays the status as On Schedule. For scheduled registrations, the date can be edited. Contact your reseller for more information or if you don't have the pending registration feature.